The United States and eight other nations have urged the United Nations Security Council to condemn North Korea's latest missile launches following the Council's closed-door meeting, which appears to have failed to take any real action against Pyongyang. Friday's summit was the second attempt by the U.S. and other countries in less than two weeks to hold North Korea accountable for its recent string of missile launches. In a joint statement, the countries collectively condemned the launch of North Korean IRBM on Sunday, saying that it is violating multiple Security Council resolutions and is further destabilizing the region. DPRK's January 30th launch of an intermediate-range ballistic missile is a significant escalation in the DPRK's recent violations of multiple Security Council resolutions and seeks to further destabilize the region. We condemn this unlawful action in the strongest terms. The IRBM marks the regime's longest range tests since late 2017. It also marks a new and troubling record. The nine ballistic missiles launched in January is the largest number of launches the DPRK has conducted in a single month in the history of its WMD and ballistic missiles program. The statement was signed by the UN representatives from eight other UNSC members. And China's UN envoy said in a statement to the Security Council that the US should show more responsibility and sincerity if it is aiming to solve the issue of North Korea's ballistic missile. The key in solving this issue is already in the hands of the United States. US is a direct party to the Korean Peninsula issue. If they do want to see uh, some new breakthrough, they should show more sincerity and flexibility. They should. U.S. diplomacy with North Korea has been stuck since the failed meetings between Trump and Kim. Pyongyang wants sanctions imposed by the U.S. and the U.N. to be lifted, but Russia and China are urging the Security Council not to ease sanctions and to take action.